Valdemir is my friend, and he recently joined me for a crusade in Kemba, Ethiopia. Today on the Evangelism Podcast, he tells about what God did in local market outreaches, and he shares what he learned from me when I was teaching at the Christ for All Nations Evangelism Boot Camp. You will be blessed and encouraged as you listen to the Evangelism Podcast today. Jesus said, go into all the world and preach the gospel. Everyone who calls on the name of the Lord shall be saved. Welcome to the Evangelism Podcast with Dr. Daniel King, where Daniel interviews full-time evangelists, pastors, missionaries, and normal everyday Christians to discover how they share their faith, their powerful testimonies, and amazing stories that will inspire you to reach people with the good news. And now, here's your host, missionary and evangelist, Daniel King. Welcome to the Evangelism Podcast. I'm Daniel King, and I'm excited about telling people about Jesus. Today, I have a very special guest with me, Waldemir from Germany. And you'll have to give me your whole name. How do you say it? Yes, my name is Waldemar Berzminski. Yes, I'm from Germany. <laughs> well, we are in the nation of Ethiopia. We have just completed doing a great gospel crusade in Kemba, mm -hmm. Ethiopia. And you came along with me as a co-evangelist, yes. and we saw God do some amazing things. What really stood out to you this week? So for me, we had a lot of healings and this really stood out for me. So we prayed for people and they were healed right in front of our eyes. People who were blind before, people who were deaf in their ears. And it's really great to see how God is um, healing people on the spot. Sometimes um, you see how healing is um, working in the progress, but when Jesus heals on the spot, that's so, um, it's a great miracle. What were me. some of the notable healings that you saw? Um, we had um, a lady she was she had pain in her body for over 30 years and this really um, impacted me because she uh, she was suffering for 30 years and then uh, Jesus healed her in the church we um, preached in different churches and I thought about man suffering for 30 years um, that's a long time but now Jesus was really gracious and uh, yeah now you actually came early yes. to the crusade and you spent some time helping mm. the publicity team to tell everyone about yes. what was happening and you went into some marketplaces. Tell me what happened. So it was really unexpected for me because um, I thought the markets would be small but we came there and the markets we had over 3,000 people. Um, I'm a white person so I have a little bit of sunburn but there because of my white skin it was really a great advantage so the, um, the children came to us as soon as we opened the door of the truck and it was a great attraction so um, we didn't have to pay money for advertisement just to have white skin it was, was a great advantage and we preached there and uh, yeah it was actually a crusade I mean three four thousand people on a marketplace um, it was awesome so I stood in um, on top of the truck I was preaching with a microphone I was totally surrounded by a big crowd and I had to turn myself all the time and to see everyone but um, yeah Jesus did the same miracles he was the same on the market as on the big crusade fields when I first met you, it yeah. was at an ACE conference, the Association of Campaign Evangelists, and we were in Sweden together, and we started to talk, and mm. you asked me where I was going, and I said, uh, next week I go to Egypt, and you decided to jump in yeah. and say, can I go with you? And so the very next day, we jumped on a plane together, we went to Alexandria, Egypt, where we had a, a very nice event there, and uh, lots of... Uh, uh, people from Sudan got yes, saved yes, in Alexandria. True. And uh, then uh, you have this great desire to be an evangelist. Yes. And so you went to the Christ for All Nations Evangelism Boot Camp. Yeah. Uh, and I was one of the instructors. Yeah. And then since then, you've gone full time into evangelism, just yeah. giving yourself for Jesus Christ. What uh, were some of the things that you learned in the evangelism boot camp that now are helping you to tell people about Jesus? So I learned a lot of things, especially from you. I really, what I like about you is that you write books. So have you? written a lot of books and my goal is to write also a couple of books so when we were together in, in uh, Egypt I always saw you writing on the laptop and this really impacted me I said okay if Daniel writes I mean then I have to write Paul wrote also and uh, his letters we read after 2,000 years and um, you said okay um, if I'm going to die my 
books will still preach the gospel and that's what I like so this is one thing and also the boldness um, just to just, yeah, stand on a crusade field just to stay on a platform and preach in front of 30 or 40,000 people it's um, totally different not everyone can do this but you made it and I uh, thought okay um, I would like to learn from Daniel I would like to learn from the best and what all, what I also really like is um, you told me that you read a book uh, when you were 15 years how to become a millionaire and so you said okay I don't want to become a dollar millionaire but a soul millionaire and this stuck in my head I said okay Daniel brought one million people to Jesus what are my goals in life um, do I want to get rich do I want to be famous um, but I also want to lead one million people to Jesus that's my goal so uh, amen I'm well, looking I up to you I agree uh, with you that you will become yes. a soul millionaire yes. in the name of Jesus and you're already well on your way oh. uh, you've been ministering with Christ for all nations yes. you were part of Decapolis uh, previously and yes. uh, just now you're going to go to Zambia yeah. and you're going to be helping with one of the the Christ for all nations Decapolis Crusades mm -hmm. uh, you're going to be helping to organize it yeah. and set it up mm -hmm. and and uh, so you're you're just giving everything you have for Jesus yeah. and you've also launched your ministry mm -hmm. what's the name of your ministry so my ministry is called saving the lost saving, saving the, the lost. lost and if someone wants to find out about your ministry or donate to help you with all the different yeah. crusades and, and outreaches that yeah. you're doing, uh, how can they do that? Yeah, so you can just go to um, www.savingthelost.com. Also, I just started a YouTube channel. There are some videos. Also, I have Telegram. Also, I'm on Instagram. So um, just Google me and you will find me. Now, let's talk about how you got started. You had this desire from God to yeah. be an evangelist, yes. but you didn't really know what to do or how to do it. Yeah. So how did you start? learning to be an evangelist? So I always, um, yeah, when I was young, a lot of missionaries came into my church and this really um, left a great impression on me. So I, I read the magazines from the missionaries and I said, one day I want to become a missionary. So I knew Stephen, I knew Billy Graham, but I was so shy, I thought, okay, I cannot contact Billy Graham Ministries or Christ for All Nation. Who am I? I'm just a small fish. So um, then I, on Google, I found by accident another crusade evangelist. He was from Sweden. And I asked him, may I My come? friend Marcus Bloom. Right. And I asked him, may I come along um, on one of your trips? So he invited me to India. And there is somewhere in the Himalayas um, on, in a pastor's conference. I saw how God opened up a deaf ear. And I thought, oh, Jesus is still healing today, uh, like 2,000 years ago. And then we went to the south of India and I saw a crusade. And um, Marcus gave me um, the opportunity to start the crusade where he gave me five minutes as an opener and um, I preached my heart out and um, then when I took the microphone I realized I want to be a crusade uh, evangelist and this you, continued and I went to Pakistan other countries as well you caught the missions bug yes. and, and now you continue in it and I believe that God will give you yeah. the million souls that you're asking for and even Amen. beyond you will be a, a soul millionaire in Jesus name Thank you, well Valdi we are very honored mm -hmm. that you came and partnered with with us for this great gospel crusade in Kemba, Ethiopia. And I really hope we can do something more together once again very soon. So Amen. thank you and God bless you. Thank you so much, Dan. It's an honor. <laughs> Are you called by God to be an evangelist? Do you want to lead millions of people to Jesus? Do you desire to be trained in the practical side of building a ministry? Then check out the Daniel King School of Evangelism. Learn how to be an effective evangelist from Dr. Daniel King's 20 plus years of experience. Daniel King is done crusades all over the world in over 70 nations and has seen over 2 million people give their lives to Jesus. But it wasn't easy. There was no crusade school. So Daniel traveled the world, learning from and observing top evangelists, noticing how they successfully won souls for Christ. Now he wants to share decades of knowledge and experience with you. Topics of the Daniel King School of Evangelism include what is an evangelist, how to be a master soul winner, how to give an altar call, how to organize a crusade, how to raise money for your ministry, and much more. If you want to be an evangelist but don't know where to start, the Daniel King School of Evangelism is for you. Enroll today in the School of Evangelism by going to danielkingministries.com evangelism.
Thanks so much for listening today. I am excited about telling people about Jesus, and I want to invite you to be a part of helping us to rescue people from hell and take them with us to heaven. There's two things you can do to help. First of all, can you go find the Evangelism Podcast on Apple iTunes and leave us a positive review? By giving a review, you will help other people find these valuable resources about sharing our faith. And second, would you become a financial partner with King Ministries? Every single dollar that people give us enables us to lead at least one person to Jesus. And so that means for only one dollar, you can help start a party in heaven. And so today I want to invite you to become a monthly partner. You can start out for just a dollar, but if God puts it on your heart to do more, of course you can do more. But please go to kingministries.com and become a monthly partner with us today to help us to lead lead more people to Jesus. Thank you so much and God bless you. For more information about how to share your faith or to financially support our worldwide evangelistic outreaches, visit kingministries.com. Again, that's kingministries.com.